Uh, it's not only great exercise in some cases, uh, it is a great social activity also, I've been told. Uh, but for 74-year-old Jill Davenport, getting on a bike wasn't an option. That was until she found the secret weapon, so she challenged our Jill Higgins to a bit of a race. Stretch it back out. We're two Jills. Bit of leg. No, I'll fall over. <laughs> Jill with a J has a few years on me, and she's had the big C. You ready for this? Yes, I'm ready. OK. But it doesn't hold her back. Go. I've got this. I won. First time in my life I've won anything. <laughs> What's your secret? My secret is this little thing, this e-bike. Go back a few years and bikes didn't even feature in Jill and Paul's lives. We tramped for years and then when you start getting artificial limbs, I can't really tramp, so we needed to do something. They took to cycling on normal bikes and it became their life, starting a 50s plus club in Waihe. I feel quite proud of the fact that we're this age and we're riding our bikes. It must be doing us all good. The group cycled all over the country. So, That's a beautiful view, isn't it? It is. Everywhere you go down there, the views are spectacular, they're huge. So it'd be nice if you could do it with your hair blowing in the, in the breeze. Would have been tough for me when I didn't have any hair. Because just as they'd found their perfect pastime, Everybody cancer struck. Got um, diagnosed with lymphoma, um, blood cancer. She had aggressive sessions of chemo and radiotherapy. So things then started to get quite a bit harder. Yes. Find that I was only doing part of the, the rides or I'd walk it or something, um, and, or just meet for the coffee. But there's something you should know about Jill. She's never given up. She's been a fighter all her life. I look for solutions. And she saw one on this ad. Mercury Energy was offering 500 bucks off an e-bike to customers, but at a cost of between two and 5,000... I knew that we couldn't afford one, you know, we're pensioners, and anyway, and I told them about my story, and uh, they gave me a phone call and said to me, we want to give you a bike. Well, at least we sh shattered, shaking, and didn't know what to say. Without it, I wouldn't have been able to carry on. She says it's still exercise. Yes, you're still go doing the activity, um, but it enables me to get up the hills. Now it's her buddy's turn because they're finding normal bikes tough too. I had a fall last year down some steps and was away from work for 12 months. I'm not as fit as I was when I did the o at Rat Trail. You've seen Jill on her bike. Are you keen to give it a go? Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I'm really excited. So I'm taking my time oh. on my ride. No. <laughs> I'm just going to have, you know, possessions 19th of yes. the law. <laughs> you just have to put it in one and it just, just takes off. <laughs> I love it. I'm in love with it. <laughs> if they save up the money, they could be cycling for years to come. I must admit I was a bit sceptical to start with. Yes. I was kind of like, well, it might be a bit banana pants, but no. <laughs> it's not. It's just lovely. <laughs> I'm going to see how fast I can go. Take your money.